I have an 18 month old daughter and I love when she says dada. Uh, I know that's kind of basic, but uh, when she says it, it's really cool. Plus, you know, she's, she's talking about me. It's, 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 it's pretty cool to hear dada out of her mouth. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Uh, I've just been so fascinated with him since the time I was about seven years old. I've read just about everything you could read about Michael Jordan. I own his shoes, I own his jerseys, I own figurines of him. There's just so many things I'd love to know. I'd love to know uh, about his motivation. I know that he, he takes everything personal, but I want to know, you know how he stays positive throughout that. There's so many things I'd like to kind of pick his brain and not just be a fanboy talking about stats. I'll go neither and I'll pick fall. I like fall because it's kind of right there in the middle. Uh, in the summer it's really, really hot. In the winter it's really, really cold. There is nothing like a fall Saturday. The crisp feeling in the air, the slight chill. Uh, I'm not a guy who loves nature all that much, but even I can appreciate the beauty of a good fall day. murder documentaries. I could binge those things forever and ever and ever. And I'll be the first to admit I get spooked, but I do enjoy it. And, and uh, so yeah, so that, that is my, my, my guilty pleasure. That is an easy one. I want to go to the Olympics. My wife and I are planning to do it 2028 when it comes to LA. And we want to do it right. We want to take some time off of work, both of us. We really want to go out there, stay around the village, talk to people from other countries, go to many different sports, sports that usually we wouldn't have any interest in, but just sort of take part in the festive pride of the games. The Dream Team by Jack McCollum. Uh, one of my favorite things in sports is 80s and 90s NBA. And this book is really a love letter uh, to that period and how the original United States Dream Team came to be. No emojis, because I'm old. I don't believe in that stuff. I believe in calling people. I know this is like a really weird concept to a lot of people, but I don't use emojis. I pick up the phone and I call people. A quick Google search eventually will uncover this. But I was a licensed professional wrestler in two states, South Carolina and Kentucky. I took about four years of professional wrestling classes. And it was, if I were to, to die and, and go to the pearly gates and they asked me, what's your top 10 accomplishments? That's one of them. You're gonna experience ups and downs. Uh, but it's always going to be okay. You know, you just kind of have to power through it and, uh, you know, realize that there's always something on the other side. You just have to be patient for it. Nathan's Hot Dogs, uh, and they've got to be from a real Nathan's restaurant. It can't be store-bought stuff. It can't be the stuff you find at a gas station. It can't be grilled. It has to be fried the right way on their skillet. There's nothing like it with all due respect to Coney's and Detroit hot dogs and Chicago dogs. Find me in New York with a Nathan's hot dog. I'll be a very happy man. Ghostbusters, and I love, you know, the proton pack they wore on their back and they, they, they blast ghosts. The startup sound is such a cool sound, uh, especially when you have a lot of bass on it. It's like you turn that thing on and even if people don't know what that is, they're sort of like, uh oh, uh, that sounds serious over there. A lot of power in that. Um, my last text I sent was a, an invite for a Zoom interview. Later today, I'm interviewing our weekly MVP for 13 on your sidelines. So he accepted and we're ready to go. A uh, professional actor. I uh, used to act in plays. Uh, they were community plays, some, some stuff technically off-Broadway. I sort of fell out of love with it, but I like the performing side, and I've sort of carried that with me when I'm on TV.